previously in Cyberpunk 2077. Before sundown, out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. But <clears throat> see you then. Before sundown. Ah, first it's Gary, and now you. What says the Wolf Father to the Moon Mother as she descends to Earth? I have protected the realm of man and shadow, but today they are protected by our children, whose name is Patricide. What? Where's Gary? What happened? I warned him! Some black suits came by, blue eyes and all, looked just like he said. Then, then they threw him in an AV and, and flew him to the mothership! I know you don't often agree to use the relic, but, well, you don't usually make an engram of a living person either. No, I don't believe it. You hear me? Not a single word. You're lying. I have the proof. Got the data to prove it. Here, listen for yourself. People are not objects. People are not property. People are not things to be played with. And I have a permanent remedy. I am a permanent remedy. For anyone who thinks otherwise. And now to continue. Okay. Apparently somebody wants to get a hold of me. Lizzy Wizzy. File transferred successfully. What exactly are you talking about? Oh, was that me sending over the data to her about her boyfriend? Okay. Not to worry. Well, now that that business is taken care of, I want to go figure out what this Edge Runners tour thing is all about. And, well, I have to do it in order. I can't. I know there are a couple of these locations that are closer to me right now than episode one, but I have to do them in order. Absolutely have to. <coughs> and my curiosity has finally gotten the better of me. I. I don't have any pressing. You don't, don't, know me, don't you? you will. Name's Dino. Hi. Deal with downtown city center. You're a fixer. Me? Yeah, I know. What about you? Hot stuff. Need anything? You call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. Uh, thanks. But what I need right now, you can't provide. Um. Oh. Okay. Dino Dinovic. By the way, you're welcome to swing by anytime. Club's always open to you if you need a stiff drink. Electric orgasm can't miss it. Oh boy. The club's name is Electric Orgasm. Right. Something tells me I will only ever visit that club. If I absolutely need to. But Lizzie. Why is everybody sending me messages all of a sudden? Uh, you received a transfer from unknown. Unbelievable. What an asshole sending you. Sending your feet. What? Are you calling me an asshole? Or are you referring to Liam? Whatever. Hope oh, everything works out. Can I... Can I get back to what I want to do now? My lifespan apparently is very short, and I have no idea what's going to happen to me specifically when V is finally done with this story. So I'd like to make the most of it. That's a cop. Oh, come on. It was an accident. You don't need to evening dispatch. Dispatch, do you copy? Huh? Yeah. One of these days. Right. No. Oh my god. It was an accident! He walked in front of me! Come on! Uh, 
And then, yeah, I killed him, but that was self-defense. He opened fire on me first. I don't normally like... ...causing trouble with the police. Oh, come on, just go away. Okay, alert level reset. Now hopefully they won't be hostile when I come back over here for my objective. No? Good, okay. Now then. Where is this thing? There's that symbol again. What am I gonna find out here? Episode 1, the railing in Corporal Plaza where David first sees Lucy. Oh, these are just points of interest. From David Martinez. Like places of, of significance to him and his crew and okay this is kind of cool all right let's go find episode two after I my poor car ah uh, my poor car I can't even blame anybody else for the state of my car. It's all me. I'm just a terrible driver. I mean, I still don't know how I got this whole bird's eye camera thing going on. But I will admit, I've improved at least a tiny bit. And I do mean a very tiny bit. Still think I'd be better off on a motorcycle. Although the disorientation is uh, less in a car, because at least now I'm not actually staring at the back of my own head. I still wonder how this is happening. Is this like... Does the car have like a drone or something that's connected to my optic nerves? Because if that technology is the case, like, that's really cool and... God, it's something I kind of wish I had back at home. Just imagine the experiences you could have doing something like that. Like, I could go skydiving and feel what it's like to go skydiving without ever actually going skydiving. I just gotta connect to another skydiver. Or I could climb Mount Everest from the comfort of my own bedroom. Like, the possibilities for that kind of technology are astounding. Alright, let's stop here. Hey, there's a ripper nearby. Maybe I'll go check him out in a moment. So, what is this vantage point all about? can't actually see it. Do I have to go down there? Um, yeah. Oh! <coughs> Not the railing, the park bench. Got it. Episode 2, the bench on the Santo Domingo waterfront where David and Lucy sit after visiting his Ripper Dock. His Ripper Dock? Oh! I don't suppose his Ripper Dock is that Ripper Dock. Cuz I'm intrigued. Even more now. What do you have on how, sale? How may I help you? Hello. 
Uh, let's look at your cyberware. Looking for some new chrome. Of course. Get comfortable and we'll get to it. Don't suppose you were the one who treated, um, David Martinez, were you? Pretty young looking for a ripper. Is that a problem? Depends. Not if your experience doesn't match your years. I worked ten years in an R&D lab at More Technologies. I hope that eases your nerves. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see what you got. I've never been to this part of town. Do you have anything for trade? No, no you don't. Ah, uh, but I have a lot of... Ooh, Nekomata, tier 5. I remember having a Nekomata when I started this journey. Anyways. Let's get some quick cash, shall we? I think I'm going to... <coughs> start selling everything but the tier 5s. Because these I would prefer to dismantle. I know they're worth a lot of money. But I really need... The components for upgrading. And it's far cheaper to just break down my loot. Than it is trying to buy components from a vendor. Eh, there's a few things here I don't really care for. If I could find a higher tier version of that, I'd sell it. I think I have something better glasses-wise. Maybe? I'd have to check. Not entirely sure if I do or not, though. What's with the yellow dot? That concerns me. Anyways, I've gained a few cyberware points since my last time here. Weapon damage, weapon damage. Perform quick hacks on enemies and devices while scanning. Weapon damage against enemies affected by non-combat, 40%. Combat quick hacks when immediately followed. Uh, and plus 5 max RAM. So do I want to... The question now is, do I want to upgrade this one? Or do I want to replace it? And what would I replace it with? Netwatch NetDrive Mark 1. This one doesn't have the bonus RAM. Okay, so this gives me 7... 7 slots and 12 RAM. That one gives me 8 slots and 13 RAM, but this one also has that bonus plus 5 at the bottom. And that's just this one, right? Plus 5 max RAM. When activating, overclock, automatically upload reboot optics and weapon glitch to all enemies. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure I have to have those equipped for that to work. Is that... Oh, this is iconic. That's a big... That makes a big difference. Um... 84,000. Allows you to perform quick hacks. Yeah, traceability... Minus 20% traceability for quick hacks. Minus 50% RAM cost. Uh, combat quick hacks uploaded through devices. Gain 15% damage and 28% effect duration. That is really cool. However... Militech Falcon. Yeah, this is just the upgraded version of the Falcon. I think this, it might be better to just do it this way. Only one upgrade option. That's good. It makes that easier. But now, I don't know how many... Ah, and now I can't upgrade that again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Arasaka Mark V. <clears throat> Minus 2 RAM cost for Covert Quick Hacks. Plus 5 RAM after performing a takedown. And eh, not as good. Like, I just... I want the Iconic, but at the same time, that bonus plus 5 RAM. Like... Huh, it's really useful.
but I do really want a tier 5 deck. Maybe I'll just ignore the whole whether or not it's iconic or not for right now, and I'll worry about just getting a tier 5. Something that does what I need it to do. Which means I should probably just get the upgraded version of the one I'm already using. Since I really like what it does. And none of these others are... Oh! 2% monowire damage per used RAM unit. I mean, I am using the monowire, but very rarely. It's more there for aesthetics, really, than anything else. I don't actually use the monowire all that much. Nah, I'd still rather have the plus 5 RAM. So I think I'm going to buy this. And we'll sell that one. And now let's see if I can upgrade this. There we go. Ah, but I think that might have been... all that I can take f take with my endeavors. Um, carry capacity, stealth, melee, resist, health item, decrease enemy vision, health, reduce damage from poisoned enemies. Eh. Carry damage over time resistance would be really nice. And bonus damage over time. But I really like the bonus stealth damage, because I've gotten a couple of one-shot, one-kills having that bonus stealth damage. That's just too good. And I can do it again? Still not getting me anything else with stealth damage, so... <clears throat> we'll just do that, and I can do it again, holy cow. Oh. Crit chance! Lower stealth damage, though. 7.8 versus 2.8. Health item recharge speed would be nice, and the crit chance is nice, but that is a drastic drop in the stealth damage, so no thank you. Okay. <clears throat> and no, now then, let's see... What else... Armor, minus movement speed. I don't like that minus movement speed. The bonus 110 armor would be really nice, but I don't like the minus movement speed. That Tekatune gain, carry pass capacity, grenade recharge, and aim. Those are nice. How about this one? But just armor. Just armor? No, I need something that... Ah, mitigation chance. Stamina is high. My stamina is always high. Ram recoup. Receiving damage restores ram equal to 2.8% of damage received. Maybe. Dense marrow, melee damage, and melee stamina cost increase. Ah. No. No, I'm not going to do that. Let's see. Mitig I like the whole mitigation chance. That sounds pretty good. Total mitigation strength cannot exceed 90%. Well, I don't know what it is now. But I know having more is good. Especially when I don't know how much I have. Ooh, weapon handling, carry capacity, and aim speed. Uh, you know what? Those will complement my, um, my sniper rifle really well. And with that, I'm pretty much out of money, so... Back to my scavenger hunt. Thanks for the, uh... Upgrades. So why did you leave? Mind if I ask why you left? I've got a feeling more tech doesn't skimp out on its engineers. Sure, the pay was good. But I couldn't sleep. More, as you might know, specializes in deep tissue integration, titanium skulls, spine replacements. It's difficult work. It takes time before a new implant becomes viable, its implementation repeatable. Time and lives. I see. So, you left out of a moral principle. Well, can't fault you there. Appreciate it. Thanks. 
And, uh... If the Martinez crew comes by any time, tell them I said hi. That is if you remember my name. If not, then, like, it's okay. Like, I don't know when I'm going to be back, so... You know what? Have a nice day. I'm rambling. I'm ranting. Just bye. See you later. Thanks for the upgrades. God, I am terrible at being social. Ah, uh, this is why I never left my home. Once upon a time. Hey. Still need to upgrade the recon, the EMP, and the smoke grenade. Um... Is that possible? Before that, though... Ah, <laughs> ping! Tier 5 ping! Oh my god! Untraceable! 25% lock on speed with smart weapons. Highlight devices allows you to quick hack through walls. Wow! <coughs> Goodness. Got so excited it made me choke. Okay. Uh, tier 5 bait. Lures an enemy to current position. Can be used during combat. Forcing the affected enemy out of cover. When uploaded through a camera, the enemy will be lured to the camera instead of you. Uploaded a second time to the same enemy outside of combat. They will stop their approach and turn back. Ah, uh, see, that sucks because I really like... I like bait. I think it's a cool thing. Ooh. Cyberdecoram, 31. I'm up to 31. That's amazing. Okay. Um, detonate grenade. Detonate grenade. Tier 5. Tier. Those are the same quick hack. Let's disassemble that one. So, <clears throat> I think I want... What did this say? <clears throat> when activating overclock, automatically upload reboot optics and weapon glitch. So... I absolutely want those two. So there's Reboot Optics. Um, and that would be Weapon Glitch. There we go. Okay, so what else do we want? Got two short circuits. Don't need that. Uh, what else? Synapse Burnout. Sounds really fun. Deal heavy damage. Physical damage. Combat quick hack. Damage increases by 10% for each RAM unit currently spent, plus 300% maximum. Wow. <clears throat> and some overclock bonuses. Uh, question though. I'd really much rather have things that, at least a few more that are untraceable. Cripple movement has saved my bacon a couple of times, so we definitely want to have that. I think detonate grenade would be funny. Memory wipe is a good one. Request backup. Simulates a request for aid by calling one enemy within range to the target's enemy location. <clears throat> when uploaded to an enemy affected by sonic shock, the enemy will instead leave to provide backup at an out leave to provide backup at an ally's location. I swear. I know how to speak. Um, okay. I'm gonna delete all of these. Because I don't need them anymore. What? Why can't I... I can't break that one down? Ping, zero cost, untraceable. Yeah, that... Oh, God. How is that one zero cost, but this one is seven? Hate to say it, I kind of want to go with the zero cost. Too bad I can't upgrade these. Anyways, I've got room for two more. Cinema's Burnout sounds pretty fun. Uh, that one I think maybe I should stay away from. I, I could... Get myself into a lot of trouble. Contagion is really nice. Cyber psychosis could work as a great distraction. Cyber malfunction. 
also could be really useful. Alright, we'll go with those for now. I might change my mind later. But we'll see. Yeah, I am wearing... Okay. I'm gonna delete those, because again, the components are far more valuable. Ah, oh, I've got... Quite an array of tank tops here. Honestly, that one's my favorite. Uh, I've got Johnny's tank top for some reason. Nah, I like the Netrunner suit. I like what the Netrunner suit does for me. Old males from field jacket, no thanks. You know, I suppose I could put this on for now since I'm running around doing the edge runner stuff. Speaking of which, I should get back to it while I still have daylight to do so. Oh, my poor car. It's destroyed. I don't know what to do with it. Ugh. Okay. Excuse you. No, excuse you. You saw the car. You saw the car moving and chose to walk in front of it anyways. It's not my fault if you get hit. Okay. Back out onto the main stretch. I think I'm headed back to Watson now. Looks like I'm going north. Let's try and, and you know, handle this uh, a little better than I have been. I say as I slam into a light pole. God, I just really am not at cut out for driving. Oh, crap. Lost control. Ah. Oh. You know what? I think it's better that I just kind of stay with this car. It's already destroyed. The last thing I need to do is, like, pull out my Porsche and wrap it around a telephone pole. But I've already done that enough with this one. Excuse me. Crazy driver coming through. I wonder what this episode 3 locale is going to be. And why are they all so far apart? I know, I know. Historical references. They didn't actually pick. Ah! What the hell was that? You know what? Not cool. Not cool. Oh god, I'm stuck. Ah! What now? now I figure out what the hell that was all about and what loot did they have. I just blew up a car full of people. I won't do anything to you. And it was kind of fun. Um... Who are you? Mox. Mox leader. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Come on out. I'm not Let's looking knock. to... Lady, they're all dead. I blew up the car. I can't get the loot. Alright. We're gonna move the car. Come the fuck out. There. And I can't get that one. The guy's still inside the vehicle. I mean, granted, that was a bit of a nice distraction, but holy crap. Just got T-boned out of nowhere and then started a, a gunfight. Okay. Don't be in such a hurry. 
My car's already a wreck. I don't need it to explode. God. I feel like I'm living in Grand Theft Auto, not not cyberpunk. Of course, with my luck, now that I've said that, I'll finish in this world and get teleported to Los Santos. Alright. Episode 3, the parking lot in Japantown where the crew party after the gig. Oh. So this is where they would come to chill and drink some beers and just relax after a job. Okay. Place looks kind of familiar. Don't suppose there's a nightclub here too. Well, okay. I don't think that's a nightclub. Right. Family Lane is fun. But I kind of like my life a little bit more PG than most. Alright. Where's episode four? Uh oh. Somebody got shot. And not by me. Oh my god! This just isn't gonna end, is it? And by it, I mean my terrible driving. And running into things. That was another cop, wasn't it? Oh my god. Having to go really far out of my way to get to number four. Oh god, you know, I actually think I like freeway driving. There's actually less traffic up here. I'd probably have most of these done already if I wasn't so insistent on doing them in order. But what can I say? It just doesn't seem right not to do them in order. So what do we got for episode four? Isn't that Judy's apartment? Maybe not. Outside entrance of Rebecca and Pilar's apartment. Pilar? Okay. So a couple of these uh, edge runners used to live here. That makes me wonder. Can I find any goodies inside? I wonder which apartment was theirs. That's the door I came in. Not gonna find anything there. I guess I'll go upstairs. No. Oh, hey! Game is more stressful than life itself. If you say so. Nothing downstairs. Had to check. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Double jump legs for the win. So, I wonder which apartment was theirs. 
Most of these look like they're just doors that lead to nowhere. Hello. This one, on the other hand, does not lead to nowhere. Don't suppose I can open it up. Ah, that's not doing anything. Well, damn. Maybe it was nothing after all. Very much looked like an apartment to me. Oh, a new jacket. All this way on this tour. And the only thing I have to show for it. It's just a random jacket. Well, enough of that. Let's get on to location five. Which I hope isn't too far away, because I don't know how much more my car can handle. Oh god, it sounds so awful. My poor car. It's all my fault. This is why I haven't bought any new vehicles. This is also, though, kind of why I really wanted to get that tank. The, the big... The big truck that was really kind of... Slow and clunky. Maybe he doesn't take sh turns quite so sharply. Hoping that maybe that thing might be easier to handle and safer for me to drive. Okay, now I'm way out on the pier. Yikes. Awfully long distance. Haven't I been up here already? Isn't this the area of town where I found that monk? Or pair of monks? The one that, uh, got bullied by Maelstrom into getting cyberware. So, what's so significant about this? Episode 5, The Base of Operations for the BD Editor, J.K. Oh. Over there. Or is it this building behind me? And who the hell is J.K.? Is that the symbol I keep seeing? Is that what that is? No, because that kind of looks like a B and an R or something. I don't know. But a BD editor, I wonder what significance they had with uh, these edge runners. I and mean, how does nobody remember these things? You'd think that, like, one of my, uh... Fixers would have more to say about them. Holy crap, I actually managed to slow down and not... Slam into another vehicle. Instead, I'm just gonna sideswipe them. 
you know, the civil method of a hit and run. If there is such a thing. Ah, uh, and there goes that telephone pole. Ouch! Ah. Uh. Might as well just change my name to George of the Jungle at this point, because I can't seem to help but hit every damn tree in the forest. Not to mention monkeys. I keep trying to, like, squeeze in between them. Do you mind? Do you mind? After today, I'm never driving a car again. Almost there. This really has taken me like all over the place. That's more like it. Oh my god, I actually managed to avoid that collision. Through sheer dumb luck. But my car. God, my car. It really needs some repairs. Wait. Underground? Ooh, something orange over here. On a body. Elastiweave fixer pumps with reinforced seams. Conversation. Max Corvin and Peter... Click? Eh. Yo, heard y'all are in... The Gannick Meats Market. I got chickens to sell. Where the hell did you find live chickens? Started my own little farm. Bought a couple of eggs on the, on the black market. Felt like Easter. But I raised them good and baby they are ready for paying off. No avian flu or nothing. Healthy and full of pluck and cluck. Oh my god. Meat quality is so good it's damn near indestructible. I can guarantee... All right then, I'm down to put up a trade, but no funny biz. My boss ain't got the tolerance for it. You sure there's nothing about this chicken I should know? Honest to God, chickens. Honest to God, chickens love the little cluckers like my own kids. I can offer you quality meat, long shelf life for you, but they are pretty chewy. Not gonna lie, probably something I fed them. Okay. FYI, payments up front, then I leave you the van with the goods. Sorry, farm policy. And you were double-crossed. And there's actually real chickens in there, though. Sad. I love chicken. It's delicious. Okay. What are we going to learn here? It's a parking garage. This parking garage below the apartments where the crew were holding Tanaka. Hamawatawa? Absolutely nothing that I have heard from any of these points of interest other than like two makes any bloody sense to me at all.
Lobby apartments. Don't suppose the apartment has something. Did I just take the world's longest elevator ride? Pretty damn close. 